Number 87. What volume of 0.600 molarity HCl is required to react completely with 2.5 grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate? And then they give us this lovely equation right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite it a little bit bigger just so that we can see it better. And as I'm writing this, I notice that there are no coefficients in any of these compounds. Usually if you do see coefficients, chances are it's already going to be balanced for you. Uh, but I don't see any coefficients, so we can just check to see if it's balanced as I'm writing this, right? And I think it is. Let me just finish this up. Oop. And as you can see, I am not writing any of the states when I write my balance equation because honestly, who cares? Who cares what state they're at? Nobody cares, right? That's my, that's my little thing. <laughs> and I think we're good. We have three oxygens. Yeah, it's all balanced. So I'm going to write down what they gave me. So they told me that I have 2.50 grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate. So if I scan what's going on here, this is the sodium hydrogen carbonate, right? CO3 is carbonate. So I have 2.50 grams of this. And they, they want to know what the volume of 0 0.6 molarity of HCl, right? So we have 0 0.600 molarity, and we need to know the volume. Okay. So basically, they want us to know the information for HCl. We have a molarity, and we're looking for the volume, right? So I say, okay, do I know any formulas between molarity and volume? Yeah, I do. It's the regular molarity formula, right? I'll write it down over here on the, on the, the bottom left. Molarity equals moles divided by liters. Now, if I just want to solve for the volume, right, technically a liter is a volume, I can just rearrange this formula, right? It would basically just be liter equal mole divided by molarity, right? And then I would get the volume. I would get the liters. You could leave it as mol uh, molarity equals moles over liters. I'm just doing this just for simplicity of the video, but we'll get the same answer at the end. Now, they told me what my molarity was already, right? I know what my molarity is, 0 0.600 molarity. If I'm trying to solve for this, that means I should know the moles of HCl, but I don't. So the first thing is, is I have to figure out how many moles of HCl I have. But that's why they gave you this information. When they give you information of another compound and you have to go to the other compound, in this case, HCl, we're going to use dimensional analysis and stoichiometry, right? Grams to moles to gr moles to grams. We've seen this so many times if you guys have been on the playlist. It's this little thing right here, right? So grams to moles to moles to grams. In this case, actually, let me just make this a little bit smaller. So the starting material is the NaHCO3, right? They told me that I have 2.50 grams of the NaH... CO3. From there, I could find out, actually, this is kind of a little, a little tight. So maybe just, I'll just do that. NaHCO3. From there, I could find the moles of NaHCO3. And then I can convert to moles of the other compound. And since I just need moles, right, I just need moles, I don't need to go to grams. So I'm cutting this off, and I'm just saying that I just need to go to moles of HCl, hydrochloric acid. Okay, that's our catered little flow chart. So let's get started. 2.50 grams of NaHCO3. We're using dimensional analysis, so multiply by that ratio. Put the unit that you don't want on the bottom. So grams of NaHCO3 on the bottom mole of NaHCO3 up on top because I just looking ahead just to see what that unit is. And now if it's a mole to gram conversion of the same compound, that's always the periodic table. And if you're using the periodic table, PT, right, it's always one mole. So one mole is always the mass on the periodic table. So get your calculus out. Let's see what the molar mass of NaHCO3 is. So Na, 22.99 plus H, 1.008, plus one carbon, 12.01, plus three uh, oxygen, three times 16. 
So I get roughly 84.008 grams of NaHCO3 cancels. And now we just need to do one more step because I don't want the moles of NaHCO3, so that goes on the bottom. I want to get to the moles of the other compound, HCl. Mole-to-mole -mole relationship of different compounds always goes back to the periodic table. But since there was no coefficients, right, there was nothing in front of the HCl and there was nothing in front of this and it was balanced, it's a one-to-one -one, uh, ratio, right? For every one NaHCO3, I need one HCl. So one and one. Okay, now I have the moles of HCl, so let's just calculate. I literally just got to do 2.5 divided by 84.008, and I get 0 0.029, uh, let's see, 76 moles of HCl. Now I know that this is 0 0.02976 moles. And what volume... I'm looking for the liters. So all that it is, I know, you know, I now know that I have the correct units. So I'm not even going to bother putting them in because I know that it's mole and molarity. So mole on top, 0 0.02976 divided by the 0 0.600. And let's see what we get. 0 0.02976 divided by 0.6. And I'm looking back at the top, looks like three sig figs. I don't really care about sig figs, but if your teacher or professor does, you need three of them. So 0 0.0496, and this is in liters. If you need to convert this into milliliters, you just have to multiply this number by 1,000. So you would get 49.6 mils, but they didn't specify, so I'm just going to leave it as this. And there you go. So what volume do we need to run this reaction? I need 0 0.0496 liters or 49.6 milliliters. And that's it. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. I hope you have a great day and keep studying hard, okay? I'm rooting for you guys on your upcoming tests and quizzes. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.